What is up everybody, Duck here, and apologies for any background noise, but it's moving day and I need to push ahead and get this thing out. Um, two reasons why I'm getting this thing out. One, I want to test the horn in the car, and two, as I'm about to show you, Not sure if you could see or not, but the dust cap on the sub has split. Uh, it split a couple of years ago and I fixed it with rubberized super glue and it held for that long. Um, so I'm probably just gonna use rubber super glue again, unless I get fancy and make my own dust cap out of fiberglass, something like that might be neat, but either way, I've decided that if I'm taking the box out to repair the sub, I may as well do some mods to it. So yeah, some more content on the way. But for now, I'm going to be getting this thing out in order to put the horn in there. I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do to power the horn. Half tempted to get a new amp, but I'm probably going to use one of these amps to run it at 5 ohms. That uh, So I'll be running it in series just like it is right now at 5, or well, roughly box rises and holds at 5 ohms. And one of these amps can do that. So it'll be receiving about 500 watts, but I'm really tempted to run each amp at two and a half ohms. So it'll, so these amps will be way under their, well, quite a bit under their rated impedance, but I feel if I can keep them cool enough, then they should be right. I know it's some, but I might put some fans and extra heat sinks on them or something just to get that extra power out of them. Might be able to get 1500 watts in the horn then, which is, about five times what I'm currently doing and it's really loud in the shed so yeah look forward to that um, right now just to date this video it's Christmas Eve it's the 24th of December and I've just cleared out a bait just up there I should be able to get this wow there's a lot of background noise wind and blow back but I should be able to get this thing out uh, within the next two hour window that I've got so it's going to be a pain in the ass the thing I'm worried most about is this amp right here has two four core cables going into it and I need to make sure that I don't forget which cable is supposed to go to which port on the amp otherwise um, well ideally I'd like to keep the two front channels on channel one and two on this amp still and stuff like that but anyway, I'm just going to go right ahead and get this box out. I'm really worried. This box has always been a pain in the ass to get in and out because it's so heavy. The horn's even heavier and bigger. Yeah, the, uh, the horn's going to be huge in here. Um, I did measure it and it should fit uh, kind of within that area there. It's 63 centimetres tall. Hopefully it'll fit. Yeah, I'm going to go right ahead and reverse this back up to the shed and get stuff out. Alright, this thing's backed up uh, into the shed. It's quite big in here. Completely fills the door. So now all I really have to do is undo all these wires, which... Damn it, the blower's back. So, looks looks pretty good with the beauty panels down here. Or, Beauty panel, what do you, whatever you want to call it. Um, but once you get closer, uh, oh dear, up here it's not too bad, but uh, down there. Well, I suppose I may as well do the first step, which is remove those two things. I've already disconnected the battery, so I can just go ahead and start. Also, last time I did this, as you can see, there's this sheet of MDF that goes over the whole thing. So I'm going to have to decide, I'll probably just take the amps off and leave that sheet of MDF on. Yep, I'll probably do that. Now something annoying about taking this box out is the one I'm replacing it with, the horn, uh, might not be legal. It might not, I don't know. There's only one way to find out and that's depending on the cop's mood that pulls me over. Yep, got to love laws in there ambiguity and vagueness and uh as you can see i've now pushed the box forward a wee bit i got the amps disconnected or at least the center amp is completely disconnected now i just gotta unscrew them so gotta still gotta disconnect the left and right sub amps from the box though 
and then take them off. Then, um, then all I really have to do is take the box out. This has been pretty quick. I think I've only been working on it for about half an hour, uh, which is funny because I swear to God, I right, just getting in that middle lamp. Although I think I did have the box out for that. You know, that was a 14 hour day getting the, the DSP set up correctly and that amp. So I'm glad it's not taking nearly as long. In fact, uh, I might even before the end of the day and by end of the day, I mean about two hours from now, maybe a bit less now. I uh, might be able to get the horn in and just run it off that rack mount amp that I've got it connected to right now to see how it goes. I might test it with these amps, I'll at least see if these amps will run it. I'm pretty sure they will because that middle amp, I shorted out the output of it once and the thing just decided, oh am I a welder and put out so much current it's ridiculous. Uh, but it did it so I'm pretty impressed. So these amps seem pretty robust. I know they like to get hot already, so that's a bit of a worry. Already heavily biased, which I think is why they sound so good. I also draw a ton of current at idle, but I love them. They sound so good. So I think I might actually go ahead and see if the horn will run off two of them in parallel. Yes, two in parallel, because if they don't then I've got an excuse to get that 2500 watt at one channel amp that I've been eyeing I don't I really don't want to blow these amps up if the chances are if I do blow them up then I get the other amp and I run stuff off the other amp and then in maybe like a year's time or something I'll fix these ones uh, I don't know they're class AB I've seen the circuit board it's pretty simple hopefully I'll be able to work out what's wrong with it yeah probably just output fets wouldn't even expect the power supply fets to get in these just expect the output the power supply is very robust boom box is out space in car for mega base oh. it's kind of hard to see but these boxes are fairly similar in size like meter long meter wide or tall if you want to look at it right now 60 by 60 at the front that one's it's weird it's like it's two phases i think i think it's 70 70 50 50 something like that all right actually i think it's 75 45 50 70 yeah something like that But yeah, this is, I know that this box's internal volume is about 300 litres. And this one's external is about 400 litres, excluding these actually, so. But due to the way it's going in the box, lengthwise. I got the seats forward right now, so it looks like there's a lot more space than there actually is, but. Yeah, once again, I swear to God, the only car where you got to put the front seats forward to remove the sub box. That includes most wall builds. I'd say wall builds... You can't remove the sub box. Well, you can't really remove it. This one's tool free removal. Just a screwdriver to take those out. It fits so well into position that look, you can see on the seat there that angles backward where it rubs on the bottom and the top of the seat. It's damn near perfect. <laughs> so that's why I don't want to build another sub box. I'm just modifying this one. I'm not starting fresh. This thing is too damn accurate. I'm just modifying it. That's it. Not going, not getting new plywood. Regardless, this box um, is never going back in. If I ever upgrade power, then the only reason I'd get a small box is if I want space in the boot back. And I wouldn't be putting this back in if I wanted space in the boot. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two where I fire the horn up in here for the first time and oh uh, I think I might uh, started to I might be able to reverse the car back in here but it's really tight 
I wouldn't be able to get out. I'd have to crawl out through the boot. So you think you can reverse? No review mirror, by the way. All right, so I've got this far. I've got about 10 centimeters of table and about five centimeters of car and a big gap. So, <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, it's in. Should close. Yep. Damn this dust. See that? Yeah, it, it kind of looks like a walled build now. So it's kind of crazy. This is me holding the camera uh, flat, so you can see just how far it curves down at the back. It's it's really weird. It looks like it goes down to below the floor level back there, like one of those optical illusions. I fixed the leak. Uh, now I've just got to connect. I'm going to sit the rack mount amp on the seat I'm currently on, which is the passenger seat, sit in the driver's seat and see how loud it is. Wish me luck, I don't go deaf. Uh, I might use the earmuffs for this one. <laughs> 